All right, so in the process of doing some new wood stuff, I decided to do some wood dog tags because I'm like all out of metal dog tags. I mean, I'm not all out. Technically, I have like 20 of them sitting here somewhere. But in all of my work, I put the bag of them someplace, and so I don't know where they are. I have like 20 metal dog tags randomly sitting in this shop somewhere, but I don't know where. So I got tired of looking. <laughs> I'm sure I'll remember eventually. I just don't know when. So I decided to do some woodworks, which I've done in the past. And then I started thinking, well, maybe I should do something other than just dog tags. And so I did some of these thin pendants. And so this is all polished. Let's see if I get some light out here. You can kind of see like really nice and smooth with the grain. So I got to clean up the, the drill hole a little bit. And I'll put this on a leather cord. And I was thinking, well, this would be pretty cool by itself. But I could also... Maybe I could engrave or burn something on here, which I used to do because I used to have a, access to a laser cutter, and I don't anymore. So now I'll do it by hand. So I don't know what I'm going to put on there yet. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. But it gave me the idea that I could do an actual dog tag, the same as size as my metal ones, um, only I'll make it thick like my hollow hammer. So like my hammers are thick, you know, and, and my steel hammers. By the way, I will have a steel thick hollow hammer. This was an extra one. And so I'm finishing up, and then it'll go on the website. It'll be available. But anyways, so I decided if I make a dog tag, or like a pendant, and I make it thick, I can come down and I can burn runes. I can hand engrave and burn runes all the way around the outside edge. And then add whatever somebody wants to the front, whether it's a hammer, or a Volknot, or a Helm of Awe, or some other crazy thing. Or maybe I'll see if one of the guys in the horde... Like, we'll send this over to one of the guys in the horde and see if they can uh, pyro something cool on it. And anyway, so I did, like, two of these. And uh, so these are bird's eye walnut. And you can see that the grain just came out gorgeous on them. And uh, they're all polished up, but I haven't finished sealing them yet. I'll do that when I clean the holes up because I just drilled these holes. Um, and then I may even, like, battle wear it a little bit. I may engrave it. And then, and then go back and battle wear it and oil seal it and see what it comes through. And, uh, but I thought that was pretty cool. And so I got a bunch more of these tags and pendants like that aren't even dog tag size. They're just pendants. And then I got some more cut that I'm going to do. Ooh, and then along with for the battle war hammer that I'm trying to do, this is where I started. You can see I'm already starting to, uh... Do a little battle wear there. I kind of broke a piece off and then I re-glued it back on and now I'm filling it with epoxy. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some more pieces. And so I'm thinking this is what I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is just cut, but this is Purple Heart Ironwood. And uh, so I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I think I'm gonna polish this up and then battle wear it. We'll see which one looks best. The, uh, the Ironwood, the Purple Heart or uh, the Mesquite. Uh, and then we'll do some of these pendants. Ooh, and then I've got some of these. I don't know if I'm gonna make these pendants or if I'm going to make them like door hangers or what. But I'm going to like put some runic crap on it. I don't know what yet in my head. My head doesn't always work. I'm really good at making plans and then forgetting the plans that I made and just doing what I feel like. And so that's probably what's going to happen with those.